The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. If you have more friendship outside the church, I can tell you, you are a backsliding Christian. If you have more relationships with people outside the church, I can tell you, you are a backsliding Christian because your greatest wealth of relationship should be among brethren of the household of faith. Your company should be believers. Your company should be believers. People that you and them have doctrinal persuasion. Are you still in the building here? Your inner caucus, your closest allies should be people of God. People that have been brought to you by the relationship you have with Jesus Christ. The church, therefore, is a place of supernatural relationship. My relationship with all of you is supernatural. God put me here so that you can fulfill his plan for your life. God put me here so that you can fulfill the plan of God for your lives. Can I hear a powerful amen? So, fulfilling God's plan for your life can only happen in the church. Fulfilling God's plan for your life can only happen in the church. Ephesians 4.11 Read for me Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some, pro and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Twelve. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Thirteen. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature, stature of the fullness of Christ. Fourteen. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Fifteen. But speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Which is the head, even Christ. So what will make you fulfill God's plan for your life is the church. That's what will make you fulfill that plan. The church is the place where relationships that are God-ordained are made available to believers. God-ordained relationships. Partnerships, brothers and sisters made available to you in Christ. Partnerships, brothers and sisters made available to you in Christ. That is why you cannot marry outside your doctrinal persuasion. You cannot marry outside your doctrinal persuasion. You can only marry within your doctrinal persuasion if you don't want to suffer extraordinary problems. If you don't want to give yourself earthly sorrows, you must marry within your doctrinal persuasion. It's important. It's important. It's important. It will make life easy. It will make serving God an adventure. It will make your commitment to God a delight. Very important. I'm not talking about wedding ceremony. I'm talking about someone who is a brother or sister in Christ. And who is being built up in the knowledge of Christ. You must find that person in the church. You find the person. So you and the person together are of the same doctrinal persuasion. So you can serve God with joy. You can serve God with joy. Two things the church does to you. Take note. Two things the church does to you. Number one. The church stops human selfishness. The church stops human selfishness. When you are committed to a church, you triumph over selfishness. The reason why some people are not committed to the church today is because they are selfish. 
Selfish people. They don't want anybody to use them or use their time or use their house. The church takes away selfishness from you. Totally. Some people say, but why must we come to church every day? Because we are Christians every day. Why must we come to church every day? Because we are Christians every day. So since we are Christians every day, we assemble together every day. People who talk like that are selfish. When you come to church to pray for others, you are breaking the yoke of selfishness in your life. When you come to pray for others, we are prayers every day in this church. You come to pray, you are breaking the yoke of selfishness. Nobody tells his boss at work, why must I come to work every day? Boss, why must I come to work every day? Why can't I come to work once a week? Hey, boss. But you can question church because salary is not paid. Salary is not paid. When we leave this world, you will discover how useless salary was to you without using it to serve God. And it will be too late for you to reverse because it will have been over. When you leave this world, you will discover that there is no reward for you being an engineer in heaven. When you leave this world, you will discover there is no reward for you being a professor in heaven. In fact, in heaven, heaven does not know you are a professor. Heaven doesn't know that you are a professor. That you have five degrees. Heaven doesn't know that. All that one is for you to function here. And benefit here. And when you leave. Just like when you eat food. You go to the toilet and push it out. When you leave this world. You will push all that thing out as toilet. And find yourself before Jesus. With the only thing you did in the body of Christ. Waiting for you. That should make you think. That should help your commitment. That should help your service. There's no reward for you being the president of a country. There's no reward for you being a governor of a state. There's none. It ends here. So that's why Jesus will say, lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. You deliberately lay them there. You intentionally lay treasures in heaven. Am I communicating at all? Yes. You intentionally. You lay those treasures. So supernatural relationships breaks the yoke of selfishness in our lives. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, Message Community.